Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another first reviews reaction video. I almost forgot what this video was for a second. I just woke up, so I'm tired. Uh, this is the first reviews for Epic Mickey Rebrushed. That's right, comes out tomorrow. Uh, and I saw that the embargo is supposed to come or go up today, like now. It should not go up, it should come down, right? Because the embargo is a, like a barrier for the reviews. They want, you want it to go down, so there's... Anyway, so uh, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, we don't need to spend too much time here. So I'm going to guess... All right, I heard some previews, and they all sounded pretty positive. Uh, it sounded a lot like it's a, it's the Wii game, except better, which is always what you want to hear from a remake slash re remaster. Um, you want to hear that's better. Uh, and, uh, yeah, supposedly, like, the, the camera and st stuff like that was not the best on the Wii uh, and this just, it looks better. The camera is great. It's 60 frames. It's just, you know, whatever. So I'm going to guess, honestly, high 70s. I want to say 78. I could see it even going higher than that. But if it's a solid platformer, this is going to be a good month for platformers then. Because, you know, just Astro Bot and Plucky Squire right there. And then this, good month. I mean, there might be even something else I'm forgetting. But whatever. Anyway, let's go. Oh, we've got, um, no, don't we have something else? No. Anyway, uh, could you count Zelda as a platformer? You can't. You can jump. <laughs> no. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna say 78. That's my guess. All right, let's go up a critic. Woo! That's good, eh, baby. 80. I'll take it. That's good. That's good. You like it. You like to see it. You like it to see it. All right, hold on. Shadows of Doubt. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh no. Four out of five. Okay, my bad. Because I actually want to play this game. It's coming to consoles, I think, tomorrow. So I do want to play that. I think that would be a really fun one to play on a stream. Anyway, um, screw that. All right. All right. So 80. Okay. So that's a, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's read a couple. A strong remaster of a cult classic. Is there a remaster or a remake? Uh, which will please longtime fans and mostly excite newcomers, even if it's a bit naff in spots. Okay. A rebrush is a welcome return for one of Mickey's most memorable adventures. It's just about everything one could have wanted out of a revisit to a lost classic. It fumbles its execution a bit with the performance. Oh, okay. Okay. All the previous saying, like, it's a silky smooth 60, but okay. But there are enough novel ideas and enjoyable gameplay concepts here to make... Maybe they put it on... Oh, no, this is Nintendo Life. So that means this is probably like an 8.59 on... PS5 most likely in, in Xbox. Jumbo gameplay, a captivating world, lots of replayability, and a raft of tweaks and uh, improvements over the original make this one an easy sell. We recommend this to anyone looking for a big budget 3D platform that does things a little differently from the genre form norms and of course to anyone who considers themselves an avid Disney fan. Disney Epic Mega Rebrush brings back their beloved cl uh, Wii Classic and does it spectacularly in addition to having the basics such as improved graphics and the remake adds new features to the original uh, adventure such as improved control and new mo moves for the main character. It is sure to become a real gem for fans of the animation studio. 7, 7, 7.5, 7.5, 8.5, 7.5, 8.5, 7. 100 of 100, damn. 8.3, sick. Why is it proud of its time? Purple Lemons done a fine job of rebuilding its world, intending to maintain what it was. And even if it, uh, if I truly feel it needed some more work to make it fun for today's standards, despite my issues with the core game still being a bit too outdated, this is easily the best version of the game as it is considerably better looking as a far, far better frame rate. It doesn't bring anything new to the genre. That you haven't seen before, and despite the paint and thinner mechanics knocking at that door, they are far too basic to really be. Yeah, they they were basic. I, I do remember that being like their big selling feature, and then when you play, it's just like yeah, you know, shoot this, and you, you know. I mean, it's just like another mechanic. It could be anything, you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not revolutionary. Uh, it was a fine game, fourteen years, but now it's out there. Relic that's the definition of paint by numbers. Okay, well he's the only one that really thinks that. It seems like there's a lot of sevens though. I will say, I see a lot of sevens. I see a lot of eights though. Uh, let's go to Metacritic. Let's change it up a little bit. We usually go to... Oh, here it is. Oh, ooh. oh what, what the fuck's going on here? You see that? Is that 60? Oh. Dude, it totally is. Hold on. 60. God damn. Okay. And then it went up, obviously. Okay. So 78. Hey, I nailed it on Metacritic. Oh, I'm yeah, I, I'm supposed to go to Metacritic first. I don't know why it didn't. I would have been fucking right. Anyway, a stunning looking game pack with memorable locations, a cast of unforgettable characters, solid meat and potatoes gameplay. The paintbrush mechanic is satisfying, feels right at home in the wasteland without ever coming. I think they meant ever coming. Ever coming across as too gimmicky. There's a few annoying hiccups here and there, but overall, it's uh, worth your time. 
Uh, okay, GamesView gave it an eight. Fully exclusive. Rebush has an incredible facelift, making it feel every bit as fresh as a brand new game from 2024. This is a rich and worthwhile adventure platformer, even if you're not a huge Disney fan. But if you are, you'll get a huge kick out of the frequent nods to the company's long history. Uh, Rebush is a wonderful remake that looks gorgeous in many ways, with simple yet fun platforming at its core. Sounds good to me. I like a good when a platformer really fucking just like nails the controls. I don't care how generic it is. It fucking feels good. When it feels good to jump on a motherfucking platform, you nailed it. Good enough. Jump, 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 hit, jump, jump. Good. It feels good. I like it. I'm simple. Let me collect some shit too. There you go. That's it. Uh, all right. We don't need to read anymore. This is going to be a quick one. I'm not sure that I'm recapture your lightning about that. Is that when you see the concept? <laughs> I'm just not even reading it. All right, we get it. So, it's a solid game. It's still the same game. Remade. It's a good remake. It looks great. Performs great, at least on PS5. Uh, some people think it's archaic still, but whatever. If it's if it, if it you love Epic Mickey, you're going to love this one. Um, I wonder what they'll do with Epic Mickey 2, because that game is dog shit. Anyway, so, <laughs> it's it's not great. I do want to try this R History Untold. It's just like a not as good... Seems like not as good a uh, civilization. Um, I want to get into those games. Uh, let's go back to Open Critic real quick. Uh, Pucky Squire 83. Yeah, it's a good month for uh, platformers. Anything else? It's a good month for platformers, it seems like. Am I forgetting one? No. Seems like that's it. But three is... like We, we don't all, ever get platformers. So having three is pretty good. Three really good ones. One one amazing one, then two really good ones is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Key locker. Yeah, I keep hearing that's good. I want to try that out. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, DLC for Prince of Persia Lost Crown. Technically a platformer, I guess. So there you go. You get a little bit more. Uh, now I'm just looking to see if there's more platformers. Uh, Hollow Body. I want to play that. I'm assuming it's going go to go to consoles. I heard this Death Sprint game's really good. Technically a platformer. It's a, it's a racing game, but you do have to do platforming stuff in it. If that came to consoles, I would play that. For sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, Bob Chainsaw. Oh, I guess that Rugrats game technically is a platformer. Yeah, it says platformer. Uh, Grapple Dogs. Oh, there you go. That's another good platformer. There you go. Uh, the Rugrats one, not so much. I'm just looking at uh, the genre platform. What the car? There it goes. Another one. Astrobot, of course. Uh, let's see. Any other ones for this month? Uh, gimmick two is that good? Okay, well there you go. That's another one. Uh, uh, one more. Can we get one more? No. Okay. All right. All right. We're done. Squirrel with a gun. I mean, that's platform elements. All right. We're done. All right. Epic Mickey. It's good. Yay! Yee, yee, yee.